Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth to break down the stuff I picked up on a recent vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, username Toy Galaxy, then you saw the map I posted while, uh, with a driving route from Miami, Florida, back all the way through New Jersey. I asked my Instagram followers to suggest some toy shops that I should hit along the way, and while I was able to hit some of them, I couldn't hit all of them, so my apologies to the shops that were recommended that I couldn't hit. I only had so many days off, but thank you to everyone who suggested shops. It was a really fun way to benefit from everyone else's experience. First stop was Tate's Comics and More in Lauder Hill, Florida. Check them out at tatescomics.com or on Instagram, username Tate's Comics. Uh, I'd never heard of them. Uh, it was new to me, but uh, I guess I'm the only person on the planet who hadn't heard of them. Amazing shop. Literally like nothing I'd ever seen before. Vintage, modern, everything in between. Statues, giant robots on the walls and artwork and a gallery and stuff. Uh, I It was the first stop on the trip, so I had to sort of be careful. I didn't want to blow all my money in one place. I ended up settling for this uh, SD Gundam RX-78 mobile suit. Uh, I will definitely be assembling this at some point, uh, probably in a video here. Not sure if I'm going to paint it. It came with stickers. Uh, we'll see how good or how terrible those look. I uh, also grabbed this uh, Tate's Comics t-shirt with uh, Samurai Darth Vader. Uh, they worked in their Tate's name there as well. If you ever have a chance to go there, I, I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, great shop. I could have spent, I don't know, I could have spent my entire vacation there probably looking through uh, everything that they had. Um, cannot recommend them enough. Fantastic stuff. Uh, second stop was Monsters in My Closet. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention that uh, this artwork on the front here is by Brian Reedy. Uh, I'm not familiar with his work, but uh, he really knocked it out of the park on, uh, on that Samurai Darth Vader image. Uh, second stop was Monsters in My Closet in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, owner Lars was uh, kind enough to reopen the shop after hours. We were getting there kind of late. Uh, you can find them at Monsters in My Closet Toys on Instagram or on his Facebook page. Again, tons of vintage items from G1 Transformers to Ninja Turtles and an amazingly rare framed, I don't think it was for sale, Dino Riders cardboard store display that I stupidly did not get a picture of. Um, had to uh, settle for this uh, <clears throat> Battle Beast number 65, Tanglin Pangolin. No weapon, no rub symbol, but uh, I didn't have him in my collection yet. And then Mrs. Toy Galaxy picked up this, uh, I don't know, Jack Sparrow, uh, My Little Pony. She's going to reroute the hair on this. It's a little rough, but uh, the uh, mark, oh, he's got some, uh, got some rust on there, too. Anyway, she's going to clean this one up, make it look really nice. After that, we drove up to Savannah, Georgia, and stopped at Planet Fun. You can check out their Facebook page for more info, Planet Fun. Uh, another great shop with a variety of stuff including vintage games, uh, Nintendo, uh, Sega, that kind of stuff, uh, and actually a few stand-up arcade units as well. Unfortunately, it was the third shop in a row where I was unable to secure any vintage Boba Fetts, so I had to settle for the 2000X uh, Four Horsemen uh, Staction figure of uh, Snout Spout. Um, I didn't have this one yet, and it's too bad, you know, he, the, these aren't posable. I have the web store and the, the uh, clawful as well, so he'll look nice to, next to them. And But I, I will say it's probably the best, baddest-looking <laughs> version you, uh, of Snout Spout that you could possibly ever come up with. So uh, while I was disappointed not to get any fets, I, I still think that was a uh, pretty cool piece uh, to grab. Uh, continued on to Heroes and Dragons in Columbia, South Carolina. Check them out at heroesanddragons.com. Fun store, tons of comics, actual regular books, like a library, uh, except you buy them. Bright, clean, lots of parking. Uh, I scored this really fantastic Battlestar Galactica uh, Colonial Viper. I didn't even know this existed. They've got the Colonial Vipers. Uh, they've also got uh, Cylon Raider as well. There's actually three different versions of uh, the Colonial Viper and two different versions of the Cylon Raider and then some terrible looking figures. But uh, I've got the vintage Colonial Viper, so I'm, it, this is about the exact, it's almost the exact same size. I'm, I'm very <laughs> anxious to put them together. I was waiting to shoot this video, so I hadn't opened up any of this box stuff yet. But I really want to put them side by side and see how they uh, measure up uh, against each other because the vintage uh, Colonial Viper was certainly one of my favorite things uh, growing up. Um, and this thing just looks like a fantastic uh, update to uh, that particular piece. Uh, and I also grabbed the uh, DC Universe Classics Superboy. Um, I, that, that, that puts me 75% of the way to all of the reign of the Superman. Uh, I had uh, Steel and Cyborg Superman were already on my shelf. So I was excited to grab Superboy there as well. All I needed was the Eradicator. Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's standing right over here. 
Um, after that, we hit uh, Retro Reboot in Pineville, North Carolina. Find them uh, on Facebook as well. Smallish store, but packed to the gills with awesome stuff. Lots of loose figures to search through. Plenty of cool carded items. Vintage, modern, Transformers, G.I. Joe. Uh, I grabbed this Masters of the Universe Classics. King Hiss. He was complete. He's got all his stuff. I don't know why his, hand, his uh, weapon doesn't fit in his hand, but here we are. Uh, I like the way they solved the problem of uh, not having to actually crack open his torso. You just uh, take him apart, snap his snake parts on there, and now you have the snaky version of King Hiss. Uh, pretty cool to grab that. Uh, also, uh, also grabbed um, this Arco. Not sure if you're familiar with these. It's even in frame there. Well, I'm not going to reframe that. Anyway, it's Arco uh, transforming uh, gun robot. Not sure if it's officially a GoBot uh, or part of the Rogun collection. Uh, I know that uh, they were getting repackaged uh, as GoBots um, uh, back in the day. All I know is uh, I had just recently watched uh, YouTuber Mantis Nine's uh, review of his Rogun robot. Uh, and I was thinking, man, I really want to find the one that I actually had as a kid. Uh, there were several different designs. Uh, this is the one that I had. It's in excellent condition. I will absolutely be doing a video review of this thing. I've got some fun stories about that guy for sure. <laughs> uh, after that, we hit Rebel Base in Charlotte, North Carolina. They're on Instagram. Username Rebel Base Comics. And, of course, uh, on Facebook as well. It's, it's another shop that just completely overwhelmed me with the amount of stuff they had. Vintage, modern, boxed loose statues, build-a-figures, it was just too much. And Troy, he was too nice. Uh, and I really enjoyed listening to some of his con experiences. Uh, and not only was he able to hook me up with an Ares uh, build-a-figure upper torso, uh, but five. One, oops, one, two, three, four, and five vintage fets. Which was exciting because it meant that the trip was now just below. We were just below one FET per shop. Fantastic. Uh, Mrs. Toy Galaxy uh, needed the three and three quarter inch BB-8, uh, so we grabbed uh, the box set uh, for that as well. Uh, next up was the Dulles Expo Center in Chantilly, Virginia, uh, for the DC flea market. I've never been to the show before. It was really more of an antique show than a flea market, uh, in my opinion. But there were a few vendors with toys. Uh, I managed to get. Uh, vacation trip Boba Fett <coughs> number six uh, and then of course another president and if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen this another president from my Mark's president set Grover Cleveland is in the house uh, last stop was the toy vault at the Crystal Mall in Waterford Connecticut uh, they've got a few locations around New England and are just crammed full of stuff it was the end of the trip our last stop but I was still happy uh, to grab an eradicator that's the only time I've ever been happy to see him and uh, Mrs. Toy Galaxy picked up this uh, Ewoks-style uh, little Wicket uh, PVC figure. Uh, the trip was so much fun, so much driving, but it was worth it because of the shops. Uh, and the people running the shops were so nice to talk to, and there was just so much cool stuff. I could have spent a million dollars easily. Uh, there's way too much to talk about in this one video, so make sure you subscribe here uh, as I work my way through these pickups. I'll be doing a few more videos, of course. Uh, head over to Instagram, username Toy Galaxy, and I'll be posting more photos of the shops on Facebook.com slash Toy Galaxy TV. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>